Space Shuttle, this is Flight Safety. Keep your hands on the handrail or inside the vehicle and remain seated while in motion. You are clear for launch. Have a great flight to Starport 75. Hey, Glenn. Hey, Chris. How are you? I'm very excited because this is my favorite kind of episode where I get my fuzzy slippers on, I get a beverage, and I get to listen to you talk about stuff. So Yeah, uh, but... But you, you know, have a key, and I still get, and I still get paid. So you know, <laughs> yeah. But you have a key part in this because uh, you're the one that has to ask the intelligent questions. <laughs> Can, do they have to be intelligent? Can I just ask the questions? No, they have to be intelligent. Be, let them fall as they will. You only right. ask intelligent questions. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'm buttering you up for this. I one. will. <laughs> I will play the part of an ignorant person uh, that doesn't know things, <laughs> and you, uh, and you be informative. So basically, like every other day. So, but what are we talking about? Let's. Uh, what's happened? What do you been? It's been Oof. a while since we did since we did one of these. It um, has been. It really and, has been. And I don't know about you, but the email and and uh, Twitter DMs I've gotten of people like clamoring, say, "Where is the next episode of Starport?" I know has been uh, non-existent. But other than that. Um, what have you been up to, man? Where have you been? So, yeah, it's been uh, about, what, six weeks since we last recorded. And a lot's happened. Uh, one of those things is I had a big, huge project go live uh, during that time. And it was uh, a year-long project, and it was exhausting. And You're talking like a personal project? Like you built a barn? Like, no, for mean? work. For, oh, for work. Oh, okay. So... We, uh, it was so exhausting and it's been such a long year that literally I went back and looked, uh, I did a little research for this, uh, podcast. Uh, oh and so I was doing a lot of things spur of the moment. And so I said, well, let me start looking at, at what I actually did. And, and literally the day of the go live, I saw that I, <laughs> I had, uh, done what I'm going to explain. <laughs> Okay. So, because it because this year for everybody has been very long, and we haven't gone anywhere, we haven't done anything as a family. Um, uh, I said, "Hey guys, what if we took a quick trip to Disney World for a couple of days?" My my daughter had a half day for school, uh, so it wouldn't be too bad if we took her out for one day, and um, and so we said, "Okay, let's let's do that." Um, so we literally three days ago got back from, from our trip to Disney world. Uh, and so that's what we'll talk about during this episode. So when, when can I interject my insightful questions? Anytime. Would, would be, Anytime. Know, yeah. I feel like a kind of a moderator, like I'm, I'm the Chris Wallace to, uh, yeah. to others. As long as you don't tell me to um, shut up. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> don't be a clown. Uh, so all right, so I got to rewind a little bit before that. And I don't remember mm -hmm. if we talked about it when we recorded it, but I do know we certainly talked about it uh, mano y mano, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, there was a time where you uh, uh, criticized the wrong word. You you had an opinion that people deciding to go to Disney World during the COVID nonsense, dealing with the masks and all the stuff, and you know spending the money uh, during this time was a um, to, to put it nicely, it was a, a less than a uh, logical decision. Uh, so how did, how did we, what was your journey, your mental journey that got you from the point of there's no way, I think you even said, uh, I, I, hopefully I haven't recorded. There's no way I would go to Disney world now, given the circumstances that are there, given the cost of it as an out of state visitor, right? It's different if you're, you know, in my situation where annual pass holders were close, so we don't have to you know, travel far, we're not paying out-of-state prices and all that. So walk me through how you got to that point. Before we get into the, what the actual trip was, mm -hmm. how, did you, how did you rationalize this, sir? I rationalized it by figuring that my time with my family is worth more than what I was going to spend. Um, and we all needed some time together and it, that was the overriding factor. Um, because as we go through this journey, uh, of a trip report, uh, I will tell you the good and bad, and I'll give you my opinion, uh, at the very end of, 
if somebody should do this. Um, I will give you costs. I will tell you exactly what I spent. Mm. Um, do you sure you want to know that number? Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't. But I got the calculator out and I, I looked. And um, yeah, oh boy! All right, we'll get to that. So okay. So All that right. is so, so that's kind of what I want to talk about, and and that's that's why I wanted to. I begged you to uh, <laughs> have a little bit of avail- of availability uh, after I got back to record this so that it's fresh in my mind um and i so that i can let you know what let everybody know what what is it like to go at right now with all of the restrictions in place um with uh you know the all the differences that they have in the parks now and and just give you an idea tried i'll try to do it objectively um but you know we'll we'll see and okay. um, hopefully it'll be entertaining and informative for everybody. All right, fair enough. So, uh, and I totally uh, appreciate and respect the the family time aspect. So that makes sense. So, all right, but let's get to the Disney specific stuff. So, where how do we eat this elephant? Where do we start? All right. So, uh, so to give everybody a baseline, uh, I wanted to do this. Uh, quite honestly, I wanted to do it as cheaply as possible. Okay. So I, the first thing I did was uh, I have a bunch of points for a couple airlines saved up. So I went to look at flights to see if, if you know, we could essentially get free flights uh, down there to save us driving time um, and, and be able to spend more time in Orlando in the parks. And uh, <laughs> Southwest, which normally has like a Greyhound bus type of schedule where they had <laughs> like five flights. Uh, non-stop flights between New Orleans and and Orlando um, per day. <laughs> uh, they don't have any non-stop flights, and so wow. I would have to connect through various other cities. And it, the shortest time of flying flying time from our airport to Orlando's was four hours forty five minutes. So since so it like only flying takes up to Atlanta or somewhere, exactly planes and coming back down. Yeah. Okay. So now you're getting into the realm of, and then you have to get to the airports early and all this other yep. stuff. Right. So, and, and then we don't have a mode of transportation while we're there. Um, yep. so that limits, you know, okay, do we do magical express and stay on site? And what does that cost and everything else? Right. Yep. So, but once you start getting into the five hour range, that's, half the drive and it's like well you know we can do a lot cheaper <laughs> if we just drive we have our sure. and and then we have options to stay off site or whatever and then you get all kinds of oodles of extra family time that's right oh, <laughs> oh you get family time all right. <laughs> whether you want it or not <laughs> so so that's what we decided okay so we're gonna drive um i booked a couple um uh, you know cheaper hotels uh i think fairfield in and then um Oh, what is it? Uh, t- uh, Town Place Suites or something? It, the sure. Marriott one at Flamingo Crossing, um, whatever that is. Um, so, uh, for reasonable prices. And I'm like, okay. Um, and then so you not, have to... So not Disney? No, no, no not no, Disney. No All-Star? Disney. You didn't do... Okay. No All-Star. Didn't have to pay extra for parking um, at mm. at the hotel. Right. Um and you didn't stay at, I'm assuming you didn't stay at Disney because prices, because cost. yeah, the cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the cheapest I could have stayed was at, I believe pop century for $211 a night. Even uh, now in the, in the darkest of dark times, yeah, it's still man. that expensive. Wow. Yep. Okay. And so it goes up from there. So we okay. stayed at, so we got, we actually got a two bedroom suite at, uh, the, Fl- Flamingo Crossing Hotel. Mm-hmm. I really should have written down what hotel it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, not Spring Hill Suites. Cl- the other clear- <laughs> Clearly, where you stayed was not the uh, main driver. Oh, <laughs> no, no, but it actually turned out to be a really nice room, and it, yeah. and it is a nice hotel. So yeah. um, for future trips, we're, that's always going to be on our list to, to stay. Oh, but Had you not stayed there before? Yeah, we stayed there last year during a one-night trip. To, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. So we... Uh, but so we spent $160 a night for a two bedroom suite with a kitchenette. Right. As opposed to two eleven for just a, like a, for a, a two bed, a double room bed with, yeah, thing. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, okay. That, I mean, that worked out pretty good. 
No resort TV, but okay. No, no, no resort TV. <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, driving, we, ju- we had to pay for gas and stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. But the other thing you have to buy before you even consider a trip is, are tickets to Walt Disney World, mm-hmm. to the theme yep. parks. So I went on <laughs> Disney's website and uh, looked for two one-day tickets. For the family, so four of us, and we're all over uh, nine years old, so we all have to buy adult <laughs> tickets. Okay. And uh, two days, no park hopper. Uh, no, that option doesn't even exist. And, um, and that doesn't exist, you told me before, because of the reservation thing, which correct. I'm sure we'll talk about in a second, right? Because they don't yep. want people jumping around. Okay. Yeah. So I had to, you know, make sure there was availability for the day, the two days we were looking for. And we were looking at Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom. And uh, both days were available. So it's like, okay, mm-hmm. let's do this. So I bought the tickets and then made my reservations. Uh, the ticket total was uh, $1,004 for two so that's... one-day tickets with no park hopping for four people. Well, not... Okay. Four one-day tickets for two days. Four single sure. day tickets for two days. Sure, however you want to say. <laughs> so, so the cost of a family of four yes, was for two like, days. It's late. It's late. Hold on. <laughs> it's uh, math. So basically, five hundred bucks a day for a family of four. Just, yes. just for the tickets. Okay. Yeah. And when you buy them, you buy them. Uh, you tell them what park they're for, or you just buy yes. day Wait. passes. Nope. <laughs> you have to um, t- uh, tell them what what park it's for because it's variable based on what park you're going in, on what day you're going in. So you could buy them, but not know even if there were reservations available for that day. They ask you to check for res- make sure you check that reservations are available oh, before okay. you buy them. I didn't know. I didn't know if you had those. Okay. I didn't but, know if you had to have them before you could check. Because in my case, I have to do. log in as my, as my oh, annual pass holder. No, you can check. They actually give you a link uh, to say, okay. okay, you're looking to buy tickets. Check availability first for reservations, and then buy your tickets. But that, but you have to buy your tickets before you can actually make the reservation and link them. Got it. Okay. It's it's you do need a, an advanced degree to. Yeah, I think I'd have to hire an assistant to get all the way through that. But <laughs> that's it. okay, that's crazy. Okay, so we did that. So that's a grand. Um. Okay. So so Let, let's let that sink in for a second, <laughs> please. <laughs> so two two days. Yeah. At. Two parks, no hopping. Yeah, so right. you're going to miss out half of what the Magic Kingdom has to offer in terms of there being four parks, mm-hmm. no hopping, mm-hmm. limited hours, which I'm, I imagine you'll get to. So yeah, um, you know, so you know they're pretty much shutting down, uh, you know, uh, sunset kind mm-hmm. of. So a little more than a hundred dollars per person per day per park, well per per day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I okay, I'm getting dizzy. But go ahead. <laughs> so yeah, reduce hours. So Hollywood Studios was from 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. and okay. Magic Kingdom was 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. So yes, uh, reduce hours as well. Okay. So okay. thousand bucks for wow, thousand dollars <laughs> for tickets. Which one am I? Pay- I never remember what I'm paying. So I think I'm paying for a year like 600 bucks. It's, uh, seven, per, I think it's seven eleven for you, per, per person. Per per person. Why am I spending so much money? But that's but that's, that's a for bargain. whole year. What are you talking? That <laughs> it is a bargain. But that's for a whole year. So my yeah. my family of four. That's twenty eight hundred dollars. Yeah. So less than three times the price, but all year long minus the two blackouts near Easter and Christmas. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Plus, I paid, uh, and I was going to leave the some of the dollars to the end, but what the heck? Oh, sorry. Um, plus, you, you, you did fifty bucks for parking, so we had to par- pay twenty five bucks per day. Twenty five dollars. <laughs> twenty five dollars. So fifty bucks on top of that thousand. Wow. You think for thousand dollars, you'd be like, you know what? Just park <laughs> where you want. park on the grass if you like. So annual pass holders get wow. that free. Wow. Okay. Right. All right, so Man, that, that is a big expensive. Perk. You know, and I hate to sound this way because it's it's like first first world complaining. But you know, I've I think I've mentioned it before here. But 
you know, we've, we've been annual pass holders for so long. It's just sort of built into our budget. I, you know, and it's terrible of me to say, I generally don't think about what the admission price is. I yeah. think about the, <laughs> the effort to get there and how hot it is and, uh, you know, expensive food, but like the, the park cost is so hidden from me because it is heavily discounted for, for in-state AP. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just kind of built into our, our, especially because we spread it out as monthly payments. It's just sort of like, you know, yeah. wow, that's it. That's man. You got to get a lot of good entertainment and family time for a thousand dollars, uh, 500 bucks a day. I agree. All right. So well, let's see, let's see if it ended up there. All right. <laughs> um, Okay, so the plan was to drive from New Orleans to Lake City, which is pretty much at the intersection of Interstate 10 and Interstate 75. Sure. Um, so a... the longest part of the drive is is I-10 uh, from New Orleans to Lake City. It's, it's about eight hours. Uh, so we did that Thursday night. After the kids got out of school, we picked them up from school, uh, came home, they changed clothes, and we jumped in the car. Wow. Um, and headed out Thursday night. So we got to the hotel in Lake City uh, about midnight wow. and uh, got <laughs> got about five or six hours sleep. Um, and we were on the road again uh, at 7 a.m. because we were going to Hollywood Studios on Friday. And we wanted to make reservations or get a boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. Which should be easy now because it's COVID times. Sure, Atten- oh, sure. Attendance sure. is low, so I'm assuming that was a, sure. That We've was seen all the videos done. that you know that people are just walking on rides. That the wait times are low, and yeah, no, no issues at all. Now I was going to ask you about that. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to seem like I'm disparaging or not believing your family time rationale. I totally mm-hmm. get that, and it has been a rough year for lots and lots of folks. And like you said, you had a lot of work things to stress you out. But how much? Did it, did any part of it of like, because you're sitting at home and you're stressed out from your job and you're watching these YouTubers who, you know, they're not shills for the Disney corporation, but their whole thing is they need to make (laughs) it look like fun and frolicking and like, Mm -hmm. Oh, we got the perfect life at the Disney world, even though we're wearing masks and all that. Was there some FOMO, some fear missing out on, on your part as you're, as you're watching those things? Was it, was it, uh, was it getting to you? Yeah. I mean, that's why I didn't say, Oh, let's go to Houston. (laughs) <laughs> you know, like, yeah, of course, uh, that was part of that I, fed into I, it. All right. I can just, well, I'm glad. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. All right. All right. So, um, so middle, so the Griswolds, where, where did we get them? So where'd you say? Lake City? Lake? So we're in Lake City and Lake we're City. in the car and heading out at 7 a.m. To God make bless. it to the front gate of Hollywood Studios for 10 a.m. And your family's like, sure, dad, this sounds good. Like, or are they yeah, like, sure. what, what are we doing? Like, are they like at uh, this point, what, how are they, or do you don't care? You're like, I don't, you're like, you're like Griswold, you're focused yep. forward. You're like, I see the gates. That's all you're trying to get. That's to. pretty much it. Yep. Yeah. I, I've known you for a while. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so you're up bright and early, and you're racing to get to the gates at opening time for um, an RTTR uh, uh, pass, right? Yeah. Okay. So we get to the uh, toll booth of Hollywood Studios at um, nine. Tw- um, oh, it was nine twenty-four, I believe. <laughs> Give or take. Okay. So we made that, it there in about two and a half hours. So that was pretty accurate. And then, you know, bad. I thought we'd right. have a good bit of buffer time to get in, park our car, walk through security and, and get into the park so that we have some time to prepare to try to get our boarding pass. Sure. Uh, boarding group. And so we get to the toll booth and it is the line at the toll booth was so long and they have them all open and they have two people, two cast members per toll booth working. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, one for each side. And so it wasn't, it wasn't from a lack of staff then it, it wasn't from a lack of staff, but mm-hmm. it was because of the staff that they had. And I, of course, mm-hmm. just like in any grocery store or anywhere else, the line I get in is the one that's the slowest. <laughs> so okay. I, I'm, we're literally mm-hmm. seeing all these cars in the other, and the other lanes just going, 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 and you know they're going in, and it's like, why isn't this lane moving? And so we were in line for twenty minutes. 
Wow. I've never been. Well, no, one time going to Epcot, I think we hit a line like that. So wow. we're sitting there. Well, I, so this whole plan, we left New Orleans. We got to our Lake City. We we, <laughs> <laughs> we woke up. We this got all the way there. <laughs> and the one thing that I really didn't count on was encountering or, a 20-minute wait to get yeah. to pay my $25 to go park my car. It's insanity. So we get up there, and it's this old guy, and he's like, well, hey, hello nothing, there. <laughs> nothing and wrong with old guy. <laughs> would you like premium parking today? <laughs> oh, God. Would you like and to give us I'm more like, money? I'm like, no. <laughs> and he's like, oh, do you have a reservation? Yes. Oh, okay. And I'm like, J- just take this. And let me go. You know, take my money. Yeah. <laughs> Please take my like money fling, and let me go. <laughs> flinging the dollars out of the window, like uh, <laughs> a little like bit. Yeah. And uh, so I was, I was a little, and you know, I know it's tough for cast members right now and everything else. But yeah, they got you to deal. With. This yeah. guy, yeah, man, don't mess with this line of people <laughs> who are all trying to have this one goal in mind. That's um, true because everybody has the same. Everybody's the same there mission. for the exact same reason. Don't right. don't ask. Don't be nice. Just do it. <laughs> we have to go rise for the resistance. Exactly. Okay. So all right. So what time is this? Nine thirty ish. Nine. Well, by this time it's nine uh, nine forty seven or something. <laughs> all <laughs> okay. right. I love how exact this is. Yeah. Well. Right. Well. It and, it, and so, it opens at ten, right? And it and opens at ten. And typically, so, boarding groups are gone like super fast now. COVID yeah. times are weird. Who knows? But uh, yeah. that's been the thing before. All right. So. We park, um, we, we walk, there's no trams or anything like that. Everybody walks. Uh, oh, there's so still we, no trams. Right. Yeah? Okay. So we walk, uh, get our temperature taken, go through security. And of course I have my camera bag. And so it's not as simple. So I go no, through the, no. the detector thing that they have now. And of oh, course they yeah. flag me. Seen those. They're like, oh, okay, sir, course. come over here. I'll look at you. So open up the bag. And luckily the guy, the security guy was like, oh, you have a camera bag? It's mostly camera stuff. And I said, yeah. And and so he's like, oh, okay, you're good. Go. And, and he's so, like, mm, Nikon. All right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm, I, you know, pack that back up, put it on my back, go to the turnstile. So between security and the turnstile, I pulled out my phone, opened up the My Disney Experience app, um, and try to log in to see, um, if I could, you know, get on the boarding group, uh, page mm-hmm. just get, and they're like, Oh no, you're not in the park. Um, yeah, uh, you know, we're not allowed, uh, we don't allow that. So you were past security, but not through past the security, turnstile. not through the turnstile. So okay. it, it obviously recognizes if you've, you know, um, tagged in to the, yeah. I'm surprised it's that exact, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so we get there and luckily the, you know, there wasn't actually a line to get in. So we booped our little magic bands, mm-hmm. got in at nine fifty eight. <laughs> wow. <Okay. laughs> Open up the app. It says, okay, you're in the park. So I go to the page and I'm standing there and, and, and it is, I told Tammy after I said, man, I should have told you to take a picture mm-hmm. at 10 o'clock like a panoramic picture of everybody. Chris, it's just a mass of people standing right there by the entrance, by Mickey yeah, and company and all as that. As soon as you get past the gate, that's all that matters, right? That, so just kinda, right, I, right. So I, I haven't seen it, but I'm assuming everybody just kind of clumps up there and whips out their phones. Right? Exactly. Kinda, so we're yeah. standing there and we had watched videos on the best way to do it and all this other stuff. So, <laughs> so I, I knew it. I knew what to do. And, um, so I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm refreshing. It's like, okay, nine fifty nine, and then 10 o'clock and I refresh and it, it does its thing. It says, okay, who do you want in your group? And it's a, it's like, okay, all, and then it go it goes to the next page and boop. Okay. You're in group, boarding group 49. It's like, oh, oh thank God. So how, ha- and you hear people like start to cheer, like as they're <laughs> looking at theirs, like, Whoa, yeah, yeah. You realize this is pathetic, right? I mean, that's that's. This, <laughs> oh my god! You don't even know. Like to put it in terms of Disney, this is a bad show. This is just. Yeah. This is just okay. Whatever. So it's it's you know it's just random, right? How they're assigned. It's just whoever gets in first. That's that's boarding group one. You know. So, now, so let me ask you what what's the advice? Is it to be on the Disney Wi Fi or just to go through? Site? No, no. Actually, get off the the Disney. Yeah, so I turned the Wi Fi off yeah. and I was yeah. on. Veri- I have Verizon on oh, my sorry my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that explains and, why boarding forty nine. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so, 
it, well, no, honestly, Chris, uh, if we had gotten there, like if we had some extra time, um, I was going to test Tammy's phone and my phone yeah. uh, with speed test to see which one was actually faster on mm. not on Wi-Fi. And I just didn't have that time. So, yeah, right. so I didn't, I couldn't worry about that. And I didn't want to have two of them going at the same time and, it, you know, whatever and so confuse f- it. Okay, so boarding group forty nine is that I don't I don't know like are there five hundred in a day or are there fifty in a day like how how close to yep. the end were you Yep, random. <laughs> yeah. So well, it can't no, be well, no, no, I mean, no. It, there's only so many you know groups they can get through in a day. So it's got exactly. to be some typical so, number. Right. So we, ours was called at one fifty. One one fifty. Okay. So yeah, and it was ten. So ten to two roughly. So four speaking. hours. So, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, and then, well, okay, but even so, you were there right at like in that short period of time, half the day was gone, essentially, yeah, right? Yeah, because it so closed they, at what six, seven, whatever you said, uh, seven, seven, okay, ten to seven. So yeah, so almost half the day was gone in that one minute period of time, right? So wow. they they probably get through a hundred um, because they do another one at two, um, but if they but here's the deal: if they have problems with the ride. Then whoever got through, you know, they got through boarding group 13 and then they're shut down for a couple hours. Well, they pick up at 14. It's not like, yeah. you know. What do you, mean they, what do you mean they do another one or two? They do, they have another window you can sign up? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? They have two oh. windows. Ten oh, and I two. Didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> ten yeah, and two. But, nice. <laughs> <laughs> but the likelihood of you getting on, you know, getting through it too. That, so that is if everything works perfectly and they get through the majority sure. of the groups in the morning. Yeah. Then they'll have availability. But if they have problems, which they have been having lately from what I've been reading, yeah, sure. um, it affects how many boarding groups actually get through. So, okay. And sorry um, for my questions, but I really want to understand this. So yeah, yeah. The, the morning rush, does that mean it's only up through two? Or would they keep giving? No, I guess they can't keep giving them out after. So you basically got at like the end of the morning group, right? That's what I'm thinking. Uh, because uh, like, I think three minutes later, they made an announcement over mm-hmm. the, the the PA system saying the board, all the boarding groups are fill, filled. Uh, you can try again at 2 p.m. So okay. within right. so within like number. three or four minutes, they're all gone. You might have been like the last the last one. Like 50 seems like a number they would cut it off. Or I don't know. It, it could be. Whatever. Yeah. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, good for you. So okay. I was just happy I got one. So yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Did so you was... did, did you feel that happiness? Were you like, ah, oh, okay, now yes. we can start our trip? Like, because that was the one thing I was worried about. Because in my mind, I kept telling myself, Glenn, if you don't get it, it's fine. Don't worry, it's not that big of a deal. You know. Yeah, but surely part of your justification was, <laughs> well, it'd be nice to be able to get on this ride. I haven't seen yet. It's hard to right. get in. You know, when it's not uh, COVID times and right. whatever. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, so we got in. So, but the thing is, you keep saying COVID times it, for Rise of the Resistance. It's it's like it was before any of this happened. So, no, that's well, not it was the exact I, same gamble. I remember people lining up at five and six in the morning and not and still missing an opportunity to go ride though. Right, but you got there at ten, so it's not. Well, I know, no, I got there when the park opened. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, so okay. if you got there at five, when you got in at <laughs> oh, you know nine a.m. Everybody had the same opportunity. Yeah. Okay. All right. I get you. Okay. All right. So, and uh, we we skipped over, um, well, and maybe you have a segment on later. So, you guys are in masks, I assume, or bubble, bubble yes. suits or whatever you... Yep. Whatever, whatever. Had masks on. Hazmats? What? No. Had masks. We had masks on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Disney ones? Did you stop at a gift shop and get Disney masks? Um, we had Disney ones, but they, they stink, so we did not use oh. Disney ones. All right. We actually, uh, we started, we all started with cloth ones, but by, at lunchtime, we all switched to the paper ones. The, like the medical type ones? Yeah, medical yeah. type ones. Yeah. yeah, okay. Really? Okay. Were those more, uh, those were more comfortable, I guess? No, they're, they were more breathable. That's what I meant. They're more, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's no, because they were itchy, and the ones, oh. the cloth ones we had weren't itchy, but they were harder to breathe through, so. What, what the hell are the paper ones made out of? I have, the, ours aren't itchy. What when you, you wear them for you long enough, they, well, that's they true. are. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> they, <laughs> they get sweaty and wet, and they just Ugh. become miserable, too. So, All right. Did you get yelled at at all Did you, for not wearing a mask? No, no. To? And so, you know, talking about the whole COVID thing and, uh, 
I I did not see anybody without a mask on. I did see the people roaming to you know ensure compliance, but I never saw them have to tell anybody put your mask on. Everybody was doing what they were supposed to do. Now, how did you know they were they were specifically roaming for mask related things, and they weren't just cast members? Just like, do they have special hats or something? They like, literally they... have a sign. Oh, do they? <laughs> yeah, like mask enforcement patrol? crew or something. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't know that. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, and and um and yes, they are dressed in a certain uniform. It's uh, like a blue shirt or whatever, and and yeah, they do have hats on, like straw, <laughs> See, big straw hats or something. Like <laughs> no, they don't. Well, maybe not straw, but they're you know big big hats like to keep okay. the sun off. Well, nope. <laughs> seems fair. Wearing masks, I hope. <laughs> yes, they were wearing masks. <laughs> okay, well. good. In fact, most cast members, especially the ones um, loading rides and stuff, they had fa- face masks and the the shield. Really? Yeah. Because originally, didn't they do the shield because it's it seemed more personable because you could see face. Uh... Yeah, I think they're doing it just because they don't want to get catch anything, and they have you know oh, you're standing there loading. You know, whatever splash mountain logs, and yeah. <laughs> it's just a stream of people, and yeah. you don't disease, know disease yeah. riddled people from New Orleans. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I think you want all the protection you can get. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. So all right, I don't, I don't mean to derail your uh, your uh, pattern here. I just want to ask you. I'm just curious. Mm-hmm. I have questions. So no, that was it. So okay. So yay, you're at the studios now. Yeah. What do you do? <clears throat> so we uh, actually, <laughs> after all that, we uh, got in line for Tower of Terror. Um, so here's the other thing is they are clearly increasing capacity at the, at the, at the parks attendance. Really? Cause I try to yeah. get passes as an annual pass holder reservations. Mm-hmm. I literally cannot get anything within six weeks. I like, like we had, like I have one middle of October. I had to book mm-hmm. when middle of September, early September, something like that. So, yeah, you need to check more often because uh, they fill the buckets more um, based mm-hmm. on what they're projecting. Um, and from what I understand, annual pass holders have a much better opportunity to get same day reservations now. Yeah, but I can't. I'm, I got a plan. I got. Well, I got a busy I'm life. Just saying. All right. So, um, so anyway, so everything well, me, at the studios, everything well, was at least an hour wait. Okay. All right. Pause. Mm-hmm. One of the. The, the primary trade-offs, especially as AP holders to decide if we're going to go to the parks or not, and by the way, obviously we still haven't um, for reasons, is that, okay, we got to deal with masks. We got to deal with, you know, if there's any worry about, you know, COVID from being around people or whatever. But the benefit is, but there won't be anybody there. We'll be able to walk on all the rides. It'll be, you know, a pleasant, more open, less stressful kind of experience. But if you're telling me I still got to wait and there's no fast passes, which I'm generally not Correct. a fan of anyway, but that's fine. So everything is good old fashioned wait times. Yep. Um, now when you say an hour, do you literally mean like an hour wait? Like you're waiting in line? Like, like, yeah. like an hour, like the good old days? Yeah. Okay. Well, so then, okay. So then why, I, I feel like I'm not, if I'm paying full price, reduced hours, mm-hmm. um, have to go through this extra hassle dealing with masks and, you know, uncomfortable and, and that stuff, especially, you know, it's, it's September, but it's still hot here. Mm-hmm. Um, like, do you feel it was a, like a worthwhile and, and try to separate out fond family memories, but mm-hmm. like, would you recommend, like if somebody said, Hey Glenn, I heard you went, we're thinking of going, should we go? What, uh, how did, was it worth the trade off there? Like, do you think it was, was it worth it? No, not at all. <laughs> okay. No, and we, uh, that was going to be the, you know. Well, I didn't Spoiler want to get to alert, the punchline, but, but no, but, but I mean, that, yeah, absolutely not. Okay. Right. Absolutely not. It was since Labor Day, because I, you know, I, I read, right? I read and follow Disney a, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so since Labor Day, they've increased attendance. Yeah. Um, and, which, is a, which is a little surprising because usually yeah. after Labor Day is when it gets quiet. Like it's yeah. the one quiet time is from like Labor Day to, to Halloween, right? Yeah. But they're going all in on. Uh, on Florida residents because they are not getting, this is the first time we walked through the parking lot and saw a majority of Florida license plates. Um, Normally you see, you know, every state, right. But it's like, it was, it was rare to find uh, an out of state plate. And so they're, they're doubling down. They, they need the money. They're, they don't care what, anymore. Just like universal. But what does that mean? But what does that mean? Like the, I, I, they haven't given me any money back on my park passes. In fact, you know, no, they're increasing. I wish I could cancel. Though. Um, okay. All right. 
was the parking lot full? Like it was it like a, no. A, no, no, no. This was like a Friday, was it? Uh, for, uh yeah, Friday. Yeah. Yeah. So did it seem like a normal Friday's crowd to you? No, no, it didn't. Okay. Right. It didn't. But um, but once you get in the park. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, it's, it's okay. So it's not shoulder to shoulder, right? It's not, yeah. uh, July 4th, uh, <laughs> normal okay. crowds, right? Well, I'm not, I'm not trying to say that, but, um, because of, you know, everybody's in line for an attraction, right? So walking through the parks, it's not half bad. I mean, there's, it's definitely more crowded than the initial, you know, first few weeks it was open and nobody was there. There's no way. I mean, I couldn't get a picture with nobody in it, um, you know, which mm. is what we saw originally. Right. It was yeah, that, right. oh, it's right. it's eerie. There's nobody here. And, uh, right. It, there's no it's nowhere near that anymore. But um, so everybody's in the park, but everybody. So, um, you know, restaurants are still closed. Mm. Uh, stores are closed. Um, so it limits to where people can and can't go. And there right. are major attractions that are still closed. Indiana Jones is still closed. That takes in, you know, yeah, 2,000 that, people, so people at a yeah. time. And, you know, so um, so there's still a lot of things closed. And so people, the attractions that are, are open, um, it, you know, there, <laughs> there are long lines. And, you know, we got there 10, got our reservation, and then we made a beeline for Tower of Terror. Well, you know, if you, the general rule is if you're there at opening, you can pretty much walk on, sure. you know, because it's still early. People haven't gotten there. Um, Tower of Terror, we stood there for an hour. Wow. Um, the, the line went into the Fantasmic queue line, like all the way. Down, like I hadn't been down there in ages and <laughs> it went down yeah. and looped. And well, that's. <laughs> That's because uh, there's no there are no internal queues, right? It's all it's all outside, right. right? So that's what we you know. Once you hit the inside of the building, you're go- you're gonna get on the ride fairly soon. Okay. But the other thing is that Disney doesn't have a lot of shade. Yeah, I was outside. gonna ask if they if they put up any sort of extra shade of any kind for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. They put up some umbrellas. Okay. But kind of, but not for the whole queue. Um, but that was the only place that we saw a temporary um, shade. Uh, the rest, it was just all out in the uh, in the bright sun. Hmm. Okay. And bright how are you suns. feeling at this point? So, so you're <laughs> bright sun. So you're a uh, good one. Um, so, so you're in line for you're, you're happy because you got your ROTR yeah. pass. Did yeah. I get that right this time? ROTR rise of the sure. reserves, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, you're in line for like. Were you shocked when you saw like our wait? Are they posted actually? Is it in the app? Does it tell you what the wait time is? Yes, yes. Okay. And so we're looking, and it's like, oh well, anything we do because we're like, okay, then let's look at Slinky Dog. Oh wait, that's yeah, yeah, right. that's seventy minutes, and oh, oh, I mean, the park had literally just opened. Wow. It's like, wow. oh, well, gee, you know, Rock and Roller Coaster. It's the same seventy minutes, or whatever. and so it's like, oh, all right, I guess we'll just stay here then. Well, no, so let me ask you this: is is it um, is this park different, and is this park front loaded because so many people have to get there right at park opening to try and get Rise of the Resistance passes? Is that do you think mm-hmm. that plays part of it? Uh, a little bit, but <laughs> as we'll talk about in a minute about Magic Kingdom. Uh-huh. Um, it wasn't too different there either. And <laughs> okay. that's, right. you know, there's no reason to get there. You know, there's, there's no rise of the resistance there. So, mm-hmm. um, no, this is just, a. and uh, were you expecting these, these wait times thing. or was this a shock? No, thing? it was, I knew it, no, no, no. I, I knew that it was going to be longer than the, you know, five, 10 minute waits that everybody was encountering originally. Right. Um, but I didn't realize that they were going to be this long, especially yeah. in September when kids are generally in school. Like we literally took our kids out yeah. of school for a day. Yeah. So you know, there's, there's so much, you know, virtual and homeschooling yeah, now that's happening that I think it's more fluid. Uh, I but guess. yeah, I know what you mean. Um, let's rewind this back. So mm-hmm. you're there, you're in line. Um, they've taken your $25 for parking, uh, tower of terror. All right. What'd you do after that? What did you do after Tower of Terror? Uh, then we went to then we went to Galaxy's Edge. We ate lunch. Oh, wow! You bebopped all the way to the other side. Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, got Ronto Roasters. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh-huh. Do you want to guess how much four Ronto Roasters and four regular Cokes are? 
Well, I well, gosh, I mean, I've been there. I should know. Um, well, let's see, four Rancho Roasters, which I think were like twelve bucks each or something, and then Cokes. Is that what you said? Cokes. Mm-hmm. Yep. So they're probably three or four bucks. So so that we're up to like uh, almost twenty dollars a person. So I don't know. Yeah, like eighty dollars for lunch. Yeah, uh, seventy two dollars. Yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah. Plus plus tip, but you got a free spork out of it, so that's okay. <laughs> no, no sporks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, wow, eighty bucks. All right, so you're up to a thousand, a thousand eighty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Plus parking. So yeah, whatever. Parking, yeah. All right. There should be like a little meter that I can see this keep going up here. Well, I figured it out for you the other day because you told me uh, it was like forty two dollars an hour, counting sleeping time. Was yeah. like your yeah, yeah. your your value you had to get out. All right. Was was were the Ronto Roasters good? That's what we had when yeah, we were there good. last yeah. year, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. By the Sorry. way, so the total I spent with, at at Walt Disney Disney got sixteen hundred dollars of my money. That's not with, the hotel. With meals, tickets, and souvenirs. And parking. No hotels. <laughs> yeah. Parking. No hotels. Wait a minute. When I saw you, I said, What'd you buy? Merchandise wise and you said wise and you said nothing. I didn't. But the oh, family did. Oh, oh, right. I forgot about the family. Yeah. I forgot they, they were there with you. Uh okay. Wow. What was that total with, again? With no Say discount. Again? Uh, $1,600. Oh, yeah. No discount. Yeah. yeah. $1,600. Mm-hmm. Wow. 800 bucks a day. Plus hotel. That was another. That's another. $400? Was four, yeah. For the three nights. Yeah. Yeah. You got resort fees and taxes and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So we're up to the two grand. Yep. Right? Just mm-hmm. over $2,000 for the two days. Wow. Okay. Wow. So no. In no way is it worth it. Well, from a no, from a from a pure going to the park perspective, right? But as a family memory now, yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I remember blah, that blah, other blah. crazy time where Dad made us march down to Disney World because yeah, cause, yeah last know. year was much better with that surprise trip. That, that was, was a great. That was a great trip last we, year. We we had a great time this time. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say no, it doesn't sound like it. No, we really did, um, no. especially in the Magic Kingdom. We had a much better day. We had a better night of rest and. Um, well, let's, let's speed. Let, okay. So let's speed through. I don't want to short change that. So, yeah. um, I really, I don't want, I'm really curious to know about the Mickey Minnie's runaway thingamajiggy, but I don't want yeah. like, I don't want any spoilers. So just general no, no spoilers, thumbs up, thumbs down grade, like, uh, based on your expectations of it. What? Uh, yeah. How, so, you um, so I'm a, uh, I'm a cranky old guy and uh-uh. I'm still upset that they took out a uh, great movie ride. So, you know, we get in line, and I'm like, okay, I'll ride it. Uh, and so after the 75 minutes, we waited for it in the blazing sun. Wait, really? 75 minutes? Yes. Wow. Okay. Wow. So we get in, we get on. I'm like, and I, and I purposely have not watched any videos or oh, listened right? to anything. Any, okay. I had, I went in with no idea what to expect. Okay. Same for Rise of the Resistance. I purposely... Okay. You know, stayed ignorant on both of those. Okay, for which, a chrono- which chronologically we haven't gotten to yet, right? You did, correct, did you make it many before before that. No, day? it was after. So, oh. oh well, whatever. It's fine. We'll go back. Um, okay. So, so we get on, and it was nothing like I expected. It was a hell of a lot of fun. No, that's um, great. Okay. Yeah, it's a cute little ride. Um, it, it's it's unexpected, okay. um, and it's it's just a lot of fun. And we all got off, and it was like, wow, that was that was neat, oh, you know. Great. So it's in the style of the new Mickey Mouse cartoons. Yeah. yeah so if I you love. like that or whatever, yeah. Um, yeah. it's it's about that that you know um, okay. pace, if you yeah. will. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's it's a uh, it's it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Okay. And the general mechanic of it is you're riding in like a trackless vehicle that goes through the same. I'm sure they reoriented reoriented it, but the the basic kind of uh, great movie ride. I think they, building, right? I mean, it's the same building. Yeah. yeah but, but there's no, you can't say, it, so, uh, yeah. unlike for <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, um, yeah. space uh, race yeah, yeah. spin uh, where it's the exact same track as or if you had Winnie wings. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even Winnie the Pooh, it's still, yeah. you know, you, there's no reference at all yeah. to okay. the great movie ride. Okay. I think yeah. they just cleared it all out and said, okay, <laughs> yeah, well, that, start I mean, from that scratch. Sense. Yeah. That makes sense. It does it well? Uh, is there like a still kind of a pre area? Like, remember you? Yeah, the movie yeah, yeah. So they first? haven't. There... 
Yeah, the lobby is still there. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, all of that uh that little part is there and then okay. you go in and and then you get like the line is like right there. Like Okay. Before they had the theater and you'd yeah, wine. Right. There's right. that doesn't exist anymore. And oh, so okay. once you get to that point, then yeah. you're pretty much in line for the ride. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. So let's talk Rise of the Resistance again. No spoilers. I've been there. It's probably gonna be like ten years before I actually see it. So <laughs> you know, whatever. But so um, okay. So you're you're a Star Wars nerd fan. Yeah. Whatever. Yep. And you my like, daughter isn't. So yep. let me. And well, there's a reason I'm saying that. Only because you are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, true. Oh. <laughs> uh, Darn those teenagers. Um, right. And Smuggler's Run, you liked. You approved of. Yeah, it was. Right? Uh, Galaxy's that's a, Edge, you, yeah. you approved of. Yep. Right? yep. Okay. So, all right. So, tell us about Rise of the Resistance. Uh, in, I'm not going to say sketchy, too much. Well, yeah, in sketchy kind of right. impressionistic terms. So, 2 o'clock, we, we head over and we um, show them, or uh, did our magic bands. Uh, and... Uh, got in line and so there is uh there's a line indoors that winds um to a point where they have uh let's say the first pre-show um and then you go into this room do the pre-show now and as you can imagine with with you know the whole covid thing and all there are there are markings on the ground everywhere to uh, places to stand so if you're in line, they have, uh, you know, lines, you know, like the hash lines that say, please wait here and, and all that. Right. So that, you know, the six foot. And then if you are in a queue line or if you're standing around for entertainment or something like that, they have dots on the ground and mm-hmm. they tell you to stand on this dot. And some of the dots have numbers because you might not need to remember that number to go to the next one and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So we're in the pre-show area. So it's indoors. But there are dots, and so they tell you which dot to stand on. Um, so they're so they're not just jamming people in, um, which, <laughs> for I mean, it's actually for an introvert, it's it is great because nobody's right next to you for yeah, any was... any time at Disney. So that's the one yeah. nice thing I liked. But yeah, for sure. So pre-show, um, it's like oh okay, this is cool. Then uh, they move you to the next, um, and then. Uh, there's, uh, a thing there <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> and then, and then you, you get off that and I, I don't, you know, I'm gonna, have you seen the, the pictures of the lines of stormtroopers? Yeah. Just as sort of, they float past me. By okay. I'm not going to tell you anything about that, but yeah. that, but then like the third one, that's where that is like, Oh, you know? Yeah. Okay. And then, so then you move into another room and then they put you in, in, in the smaller room and in, in this whole time, it's a story. Okay. And so okay. you're, you're on, let's say a mission. And so each, each step is another chapter in that story. Okay. If that makes mm-hmm. sense. Yep. Um, and then, so at the very last part, that's when you actually get on any kind of ride vehicle. Okay. Um, and so you, you get in, you get in the ride vehicle and it, um, and it takes off and it actually uses the same, uh, trackless technology as, uh, making minis runaway, uh, railway. So, okay. uh, they're, uh, it's really cool because you, you can't see a track, right? So right. you don't know where you're going. Um, it's, I think it's the not rat- Ratatouille ride uses. The yeah. Same yeah. Thing too, right? yeah. So it doesn't really go that fast. <laughs> it just, it just goes through scenes. Um, and, um, and, and so into, <laughs> until the end, mm-hmm. that part, the writing part itself, mm-hmm. uh, cause I videoed it. Um, and the video was like six and a half minutes long. So mm-hmm. it, you know, it's, it's, it's decent, it's, decent length. Per, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so two ahead. things I heard this thing build as before it opened. One was the length of it. It was going to be the longest, yeah. the quote unquote longest attraction, uh, Disney's ever had. Yeah. Um, and then the other was, um, I'm trying to think how they referenced it, but basically, um, an experience like no other, meaning like they kind of broke the mold on what a theme park attraction could be. Mm -hmm. And it had kind of a a broader storytelling kind of component to it. Uh, do you agree with both? I mean, time is kind of uh, specific, so that's, uh, I don't know. It's not a matter of opinion, but, um, is it, is it a, it sounds like it's a pretty long attraction if you count the whole area, the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. And so general impression of the 
um, you know, is it groundbreaking? Is it, uh, is it where you're like, wow, mind blown. That's a whole, we're in a new era of theme park arena. Yeah. It's, it's like they've, they've taken everything that they've learned from all the other attractions and put them to work here. Hmm. Um, but the other thing is that the scale of the attraction is huge. So, you, you know, it, but for in any, on it. in anything else, uh, I'm trying to, you know, Haunted Mansion, right? You're, you're totally. going through and you're going through hallways, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. You're, you're going through the scenes and you're supposed to be in a city, but you know, you look up and you can see the, the ceilings not that far away. And, right. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. <laughs> Certain parts of this, of this ride. Uh, but, but even even the the stormtrooper part, like I'm not going to tell you where that is or whatever, but just the scale of it, you you walk in and it's like, wow, like this this is impressive, mm. <laughs> and 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 so on the ride, like you there are parts of it that it's like you're looking at these huge things, and it's 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 like man, this is this is never ending, like. And so just the scale of it is mm-hmm. impressive. Uh, but within that scale, like everything has its place and everything. So it all makes sense. And it, it for me, I mean, it really does transport you to to that world. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Um, and so just everything. There's audio animatronics. There's projections. There's, you know, physical uh, sets moving. There's there's all kinds of stuff, and so they've taken. <laughs> I can see much, why this thing breaks down so much. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, well. So, <laughs> so that's the the first part of our, our story is that. Uh, so we're on the ride, and we get about three quarters of the way through, and it stops and it breaks down. Mm. So we're like, okay, well, rides break down. You know, they come over. Um, please stay seated. You know, the attraction will start up. Whatever. Well, after a few minutes, it didn't start up. So uh, uh-oh. cast members started coming through and they took us off the rides. No. Okay, everybody put your phones away. No cameras. We're, wow. we, we have to walk out and we have to walk out and pick up every group <laughs> in front of you. Um, and so they we we walked we walked through the sets. Oh, no. And they Is took us out backstage and we went down and. And they said, okay, let me see your magic band. And they gave us a, another, um, another boarding group, uh, that wow. they said when, when it's up and running again, just come back. Wow. So, <laughs> so, so did that ruin any of the magic for you? Seeing no, like the backstage? No, it was so awesome. No, oh, okay. it was awesome. Right. And the kids right. saw it and you know, so it was, it was neat. Okay, cool. Where's the video? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. So we went back a couple hours later. It was up yep. and running, and mm-hmm. we got to do it again a second time. Well, that's and great. It, it went the whole way. Uh, so so we we actually got to see there the whole go. attraction. One, one and a half one and a half rides out of it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. Now you said it was important to know that your daughter is not a Star Wars fan, and you are. Yeah. So after the ride, we got off, and I'm like, okay, oh well, yeah, well, oh, what y'all think? And and she was she was in awe. She was like that is an incredible attraction. Wow. Um, and, which I never, I thought she'd hold out and, you know, yeah. be like, ah, oh, that wasn't that cool dad, you know, yeah, Star Wars, yeah. but she actually, she's like, yeah, it's one of the best rides here. Wow. It's one of my favorites. And so we were talking later and, you know, we were, you know, trying to rank our favorite rides and everything else. And she actually put it on her top five list. Wow. What else is on her top five? Now I'm curious. Um, uh, Haunted Mansion. Okay. Space Mountain, um, Tower of Terror, uh-huh. um, Rock and Roller Coaster, because she's in her roller coasters right now, and then okay. Rise of the Resistance. Okay. Wow. Okay. Cool. So let me ask you in this in kind of this context. Mm-hmm. If you if you were waiting in line, let's say they didn't have uh, the boarding group thing, boarding mm-hmm. boarding group, boarding pass, whatever. Um, how long would knowing what you know now about this ride? Yeah. How long would you wait in a line to see this attraction again? Like clearly you do an hour because you do that for a day, oh my god oh an hour and a heartbeat how about, how about three hours yeah I think three hours would be my maximum okay but I would right. wait up to three hours yeah wow okay yeah 
Man, and they, they clearly had the line for it, too. I mean, you could see oh, yeah. they built the queue line in the, you know, they have like a garden area or whatever. And um, <laughs> you're all going to like relax here for a little while. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, I would. Um, yeah, I think three hours would be uh, I wouldn't wait more than that. I wouldn't wait more than that for anything. You know? Yeah. Well, I have a hard time waiting an hour for, for anything. Yeah, I get it. But yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm thinking about uh, maybe doing a, uh, for, for complicated family reasons that I won't go into, but we can't kind of all go to the park because of masks. Um, but I'm thinking of taking my eight year old, just he and I kind of trying to run out there first thing in the morning to see if we can get on it. Obviously mm-hmm. we have to stay for <laughs> a number of hours, yeah. but, uh, just to go do something. Cause we haven't been out, we haven't done anything in like since February, like yeah. nothing. Yeah, so. I I suggest that you do. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else uh, studios wise? Um, so I uh, yeah I got the green milk. Uh, <laughs> okay. So uh, everybody, uh, my family, uh, we all we got blue milk and green milk. Everybody else got blue milk. I got the green milk just because I had blue milk yeah. uh, in January sure. when we went. Uh-huh. Um, and just to taste it, right? Yeah. And. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the blue milk is the, uh, is, is the good one. Yeah. yeah well, it's the, original, um, the OG. Everybody said the green milk tasted like fruit loops. Um, mm. and they are correct. I could actually, I see exactly where they're coming from with that. Okay. And you don't like fruit loops? Like who doesn't like? No, fruit I like fruit loops? loops, but the blue is, is better. Okay. It, it has a better flavor. Oh, I, I drank it all. It's hard for I me mean, to say cause I got the alcoholic version and you, you oh. didn't. So I don't know what a straight up version yeah, tastes like. And I don't know what the intended, like what is the real experience of it? Was it, was it, uh, factored? Cause one of them had to be the priority. Was it, you know, they made the blue milk and then threw the alcohol in or they made an alcoholic drink and then took it out. I'm not mm. sure which came first. Yeah, I don't know. All right. What else? Uh, yeah. we did, we did Slinky Dog Dash. Um, that was pretty much toward the end of the day. Uh, I think we waited maybe 40 minutes for it. Okay. Um, we also did Star Tours and Rock and Roller Coaster. And so, the, I mean, we did, classics. we did pretty much everything. Um, was there anything you were really either, either in a shop or a restaurant or a ride? Was there anything you were really disappointed was not open because of, uh, COVID issues? Um, uh, the, so the whole, uh, animation courtyard. So, um, Voyage of the Little Mermaid, uh, mm-hmm. Playhouse Disney live and yep. the Star Wars launch bay. All yep. of that is closed. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's I mean, I would, I'd go into the Star Wars launch bay just because, you know, yeah. just why not? Right. But, but yeah, that whole section is closed. Um, there was a store on, that like, um, is that Star Wars shop? Is the shop open at the launch bay? No, no. Oh, wow. Every okay. the whole thing's just closed. You mean you walk through like the little cantina thing and and that stuff? Was that open or no? That was all closed. Yeah, it was all closed. Oh wow. Okay. I was so, just wondering what you were when you said you'd walk through it anyway. You just mean like in the courtyard area? Yeah, yeah. We you okay. walk that way to go. Yeah, like to go to Toy Story Land. Like you go. Oh, like, I see. What you're, okay. Yeah. Got it. Right. Um. Uh, there was a store. They had a, a Galaxy's Edge store on Hollywood Boulevard, hmm. um, in not the Mickey and Company, not the main one, but right like right behind that. They had that little cutoff where you go to uh, 50s Prime Time and all that. You know what yep, I'm talking about? I do. Uh-huh. And I don't know the name of that one, but anyway. Yeah, so I that whole you. store is closed. Okay. Um, but uh, to get in a store, especially at night. It's you have to wait in line to get into the store because they only wow. let so many people in, and they literally have cast members at each door uh, because there's only one entrance door. The other ones are uh, exits, and they mm-hmm. have a cast member at each one with a phone uh, or you know whatever. Uh, it's phone shape. Ta- uh, it's not a tablet, but it's a phone shape, uh, and they literally you look at it, and it's just a plus and a minus. And so <laughs> as they, so, you know, it, it's all, they're all written, connected. I could have written that up. <laughs> exactly. And so <laughs> the people at the any, you know, they're like plus plus. And then the Audi, as people walk out, it's minus yeah. minus. Well, I guess and they so, have to, cause I mean, the shops are so, you know, you're so jammed in there shoulder yeah. to shoulder in normal times. So, yeah. yeah. So, okay. um, so anyway, so you had to wait in line. And so Tammy went in one store, I was taking pictures and I, I saw him in there, but I wasn't going to wait in line to go in there. Yeah. So, uh, that was a little weird, but I, I understand. I get it. You know, yeah. I, get I mean, what it, else but, are they going to do? Yeah. Yeah. How about um, the, Gal- the galaxy's edge 
shops for is it are they are they oh uh, so they i didn't even go in there uh tammy and and uh glen paul did well, uh but they had to wait in line because uh, wow. glen paul wanted a little baby yoda yeah. um stuffed animal and uh and that's the only place you can get it is in galaxy's edge in those right. little stores right and there's you know how small they are oh yeah and so yeah. it took it they were in there i took <laughs> i went off and took so many pictures in that I come I, back and they're still in line. I'm like, wait, usually you're waiting on me to finish. <laughs> yeah, I was looking through your pictures today. Really nice. Uh, cool. Okay. So, but I'm assuming they're not doing things like the Star Wars, or, excuse me, the lightsaber uh, building experience. And the yeah, droid they, factory. they just started they that up. Uh, okay. Yeah, Droid Factory, yes. Okay. Uh, and they just started up lightsabers uh, literally, I think, the start of last week. Got it. Or okay. or the end of the week before that. So, got it. Um, but it's very limited for that as well. You know what? I was just a side note. If you're still planning to come here in January, as you typically do, maybe yeah. we should do a little side trip. I think I need a lightsaber. I, I haven't uh, yeah, hey, experienced man. that yet. I got. I'm lousy with droids. I need. I need some lightsabers. That would be awesome because then because I didn't take any pictures when I was in there oh, building right, right. mine, so yeah, I could yeah. take pictures of you building yours. Oh no, that's that's no good. Never mind. All right, let's. Uh, this is gonna be a three-hour uh, episode. No, All it's right, not because so... I have a five thirty meet call in the morning. So whoa, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, all right. Well, so what else do you want to talk about? So this was anything else with the studios? No, that's it for the studios. Okay. Um, then we did Magic Kingdom Saturday. Wait a minute. So and... just keep keep everybody up to date. So yes. there went there went a thousand dollars. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, exactly. <laughs> okay. Um, so, boom. There goes the G. Yeah. All right. So, next day, did you have anything? You didn't have any pressure like you did at the studios for like no. the Rise of the Resistance. It was just this was more relaxed day. I'm, I'm hoping. Yes, but but because of limited hours, we were there at nine o'clock for opening. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So, and they kicked us out. So, <laughs> we wow. were there the whole the whole day. Um, so, just a couple notes about Magic Kingdom. Uh, the first thing is, uh, first time we got to see the new castle uh, paint job. Oh, mm. yeah. Right. Um, it, it is not awful. It's not as bad as I expected, and not as dramatic as some of the photos portray it to be. Interesting. Um, but I couldn't get used to it because every time I would look at it. I would think of Sleeping Beauty Castle in Disneyland. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was just odd, you know? Yeah. So it's not it's not that it's ugly and it's not that it's overdone, although the gold on it, you know, like they could have picked a different color, but um the pink is it, and blue, it's okay. It's not too oversaturated, but um but it just didn't it does, it's not Disney World, right? It, it and Yeah, and that's the and I haven't seen that person yet. But, yeah. but I'm like, well, what is this? What did this get us? Like the decorations right. they did for, you know, the uh, was it Disneyland's fiftieth? Mm-hmm. Remember, it was all golden uh, at not not in yeah. Disneyland, oh, yeah, but yeah. also Disney World, right? Yeah. Um, like it, there was a reason for that, and it was temporary, and it was like to make it more fancy, right? Because it was a big event. I don't right. understand what this did. Was it because it doesn't look fancier? It's just different. Yeah. It's it's less unique because now it looks like like you mentioned looks like you know kind of the vibe of the other castles. Yeah. So I don't know what now that you've seen it in person. What uh, do you, do you get a sense of like why they what the purpose was, what the point is? Well, I truly and I've said this before. I truly believe, <laughs> I believe it's a Bob Chapek uh, move to just make everything generic and um, so that they can have merchandise that has a generic castle on it, a pink castle on it, and they can sell it in both Disneyland and Disney World. But they're shaped differently. They're not the same. No, they're, I know. That's why I'm saying a generic. They have a hybrid castle that isn't too tall. And, it, you know, it, it kind of takes both into it. It's like, oh, okay, that's the... You can make it look like whatever you want it to look like. Kind of like the castle at the beginning of the movies where it's kind of yes. like, a, like yeah, a generic. Yeah, kind of so. Style. All right. Yeah, but did you have to... I don't know. Did that require repainting to achieve that? Like, I don't it's know. It's a cheap thing to do, right? To To... Hmm. Make it look like that so that they can. I, that's just Glenn's cynical view. Of yeah, it. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. Okay. So it's, I mean, it's, it's not got a big awful. birthday coming up. I thought you know they yeah. to set, but it's not it's not fancy enough for that. So I don't know. No. Whatever. I hope it, I hope it goes back just because you know it doesn't feel yeah. like Disney World's castle anymore. But. They kind of indicated that it would be temporary ish, mm. but I don't I don't know, and I forget the reason why they. 
there was some reason, some celebration that they did it for. I, I can't even think <laughs> what it was now. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, it's um, good to know. Have you have you looked through your pictures yet? Do you do you because you said it looks different in person. Do your pictures look like other people's pictures? Like, do you look at your pictures and go, hmm, that's not what it looked like in person? Or have you not been through enough of them yet? Um, no. My pictures, because I'm taking them on a beautiful Nikon Z6, um, <laughs> the colors are spot on. So okay. I right. don't have well, any I can't issues. wait to see yours, though. Uh, then I don't have that's to right. That's right. That's right. All right. Um, so there are no, uh, there's no, you know, three o'clock parade, right? Right. Um, there's no character meet, meet and greets. But what they have instead are they have like five different uh, mini parades. They're, I think they call them cavalcades. And <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, so right now there are um, there's uh, a boo to you. And so it's essentially the they play the music from oh, uh, Mickey's Not So Scary. Oh, yeah. No. Um, and it has the Fab Five, right? Mickey, yeah. Minnie, Donald, mm-hmm. Pluto, da- uh, I don't know if Daisy's on there or not. Uh, Goofy. And um, and so it's just one float. And it goes, it goes past, and they have some other dancers um, that would normally be in the the not-so-scary Halloween party parade. Uh, it's playing the Boo to You music. So yeah. it's, it's cute. Um, they have a villains one. So that, that goes that, and it's like random. Um, but we saw it, I think three times the one day we were there. Like it just, it just goes, it's like, Whoa, okay, here comes the float. Wow. Okay. And, um, and then there's nothing. And then another float will come. So, um, so they have a villains one. So it's a bunch of villains and it passes. And then there's a princess one. Um, and Merida, uh, from brave leads that she's on a, on horseback. Um, and then it's all the princesses on the castle float that's been around since 1987. <laughs> right. And then, um, uh, and then there's a nightmare, nightmare before Christmas one. And that's the one we really wanted to see because my son and daughter love nightmare before Christmas. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we've never seen Jack and Sally from the movie, like the characters in the parks. So we've actually got to see them on the, on the float. So that oh, was that's cool. cool. Yeah. Um, and then there's, uh, in the morning on the, you know, they had the trolley show, you know, yeah. the trolley uh-huh. goes and they stuff. They had the, uh, <laughs> the dapper dance on it, but they're dressed, uh, in Halloween outfits. Yeah. Uh, I saw a photo of that. Not, yeah. It's not, the cadaver dance. Yeah. Not a fan. No. And it was, it was, it, but it was cute. I mean, they're, yeah. they're all great singers and yeah, um, I, love, I love the dapper dance. Just, yeah. So I, I anyway. Know. All right. So they have those, um, and and that's you know obviously to give some more entertainment and get the characters out there, yep. but not have people sitting there waiting for parades for hours right. on end and right. causing crowds and all that. Other than that, uh, not much special. We did a lot of the you know we did a lot of attractions: Space Mountain, Buzz Lightyear, Haunted Mansion, Splash Mountain, Tiki Room. Oh, tiki room. Uh, Big Thunder well, how Mountain. That, how'd that work? Tiki room. They they space Same people thing. out inside. Yep. Yep. Yeah. On the benches they have uh, uh you know, do spikes. not sit here. Yeah, oh, and, and okay. so um yeah. Uh, okay. it's all spaced out. They only let certain number of people into the queue line in you know, we actually had to wait uh for a show. Like wow. yeah, like whoever does that. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we wanted to say it, so yeah, no, I've become um fun. Stupid show. We did spl- oh, so uh, we did Splash Mountain. So this is probably the last time we're gonna, we're going to do Splash Mountain in its current incarnation. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was cool. Um, uh, ate at Pecos Bills. So we had to do pretty much every place had mobile ordering only. Um, and what, what was open? Like the mo- lots. Oh, of there's open. only. Oh, thank you, thank you. There's only three restaurants open at Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Um, Pecos Bill. Uh, Pinocchio's yeah. Village House in Fantasyland and yeah. Cosmic Rays in Tomorrowland. Yeah. And that's it. Three places I don't like. What about Dole Whips? <laughs> they do have Dole Whips. We did oh, get, we got Dole Whips. Although I didn't, I got, they had a raspberry swirl oh, it, for on, limited Glenn. time. And so, uh, well, what I, has happened to you? It was, it was good. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Dole Whips. Fine. I know, I know, I, I know. Raspberry. I wanted to be, do you like try something different. I don't like raspberry. You don't? I love no, raspberry. no, I'm not a raspberry fan. 
Mm. But but interesting enough, I like coffees that have raspberry, you know, whatever, overtones, whatever they mm. call it. Yeah. Weird. But okay. All right. So not playing places. I assume the same deal with shops. You had to uh, wait in line <clears> if you <throat> want to go into a shop, that kind of thing. Yeah. The uh, So the end of the day, we went in the Emporium earlier in the day and it was fine. We just walked in. But the, the end of the day, as you can imagine... The, the line went, so the entrance was, uh, the you know, in the midpoint on Main Street. You know what I'm talking about? The, yes. um mm-hmm. yep. Yeah. So that new section of it, that was the entry. And yeah. then all the other doors were exits. So to get in, the line went from there all the way back down Main Street towards the castle and, and turned and went, it was all the way back by Crystal Palace. Holy cow. Just to get in to shop. Wow. And did so you guys do that? Did you we did that? not do that. Okay, because I'm curious, once you do get in, is it like yeah. palatial space? Because um, that place, you know, no, it's so jammed. It's not It's not enjoyable a lot of times. Yeah, but. guess what? During the middle of the day when we got in, yeah. it was it was jam-packed. Wow. Like, they, uh, their counters were wrong or well, I was going to say with them, what is the point of the... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't okay. know. All right. Um, so it was, uh, I mean, we had a good time, you know, it, but it, it was hot, uh, as you sent me, actually. You know, the feels <laughs> like was 106 yes. on Saturday. Good to have friends. By the um, way, it's really cool here tonight. I think we had a cold front. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful here, too. <laughs> but, but yeah, it was, so it was very hot. Um, and, it and was. So, so with Matt, like, hmm, how would you... I guess you wouldn't say it was unbearable with masks because you you bared it and you got through it. But I mean, yeah. in a in a in a uh, whatever difficulty level or um, how much did that affect your uh, enjoyment having to spend a day in a mask in the in the heat? When we were able to take a break and sit down and just take a drink of water and take the mask off, yeah, for a second, like it was, it felt like it was literally a 10 degree difference yeah. between not having the mask on and having it on. It was so refreshing to take it off and take a swig of water. It was like, it was like heaven. <laughs> See, I'd almost, I'd almost never want to do that because then you wouldn't want to put it back on. Well, and that's what it, and, and the, uh, Oh, the other thing, you know, it's a mind trick or whatever, right? For, for me, at least it was, is in my mind, you know, you're, you're waiting. Most of the queue lines are outside. Right. Right. Once mm-hmm. you get inside, and I mentioned this earlier, once you get inside the 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 regular queue line, yeah, you're gonna move. Right. Like they have it to where it's you know you're not spending a lot of time in inside. They want to get you on the on the attraction. So when you finally get inside, um, you're you're gonna move. But in my mind, <laughs> once we got inside, like my first uh, reaction was to. To I thought about taking my mask off. Oh right, right. yeah, I could see that. Yeah, and it's mm-hmm. like, oh no, I cannot take it off at <laughs> any point. Not there, yeah, yeah, right. And so it's like, so that was kind of weird because you know, in your mind, it's like, okay, you're finally inside. Like, yeah, for we me, it. it's home. Yeah. yeah, right. And right. and it's like, oh no, that's where you need it more. But <laughs> right. um, but yeah, it was just so that was kind of a mind freak kind of for me. Yeah. Um, how, so, about the re- how about the rest of the family? Were 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 they pretty okay with it? Did you get a lot of complaints? You know, uh, it's it's kind of a trick question because my <laughs> well, no, 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 because my son and Didn't daughter are in person in school and they yeah. have to wear masks all day, and yeah, so but, they're but kind of air, used to it. Yeah, but yeah. in air conditioning, right? so. uh, yeah, but they're they're used to it. So, okay. um, so it was it was definitely different for Tammy and I. Um, but yeah, we did it. It wasn't pleasant that, all right, let me, let me put it this way. If, if, you know, (laughs) it would not, that is not the thing that would keep me from going again. Oh no, I know. But, but I'm ready for that. So, which I assume would be the money part of it. Right. Uh, Oh no. For yes. Yes. I mean, ultimately it comes down to money because I don't think I got the value. Right. Well, that, uh, that it would have if I had spent the same amount of money in January. Okay, I spent the same amount of money in January. Okay, so if it were half the price, like Disney was having a deal because things were yeah. so bad, but same scenario, same setup, same you know, one hundred six uh, real feel temperature masks yeah. and all that. Would would you do it again? Yes, for okay. half the price. Yes, because okay. I think I, I think that's about 
the value that you're getting with the yeah. reduced hours, yep. with the no park hopping, with the queue lines not set up to provide comfort, with restaurants being closed, with stores being closed, with attractions be still being closed. Right. You are not getting the same value that you were before. Right. So that's yes. So half price, yeah. I think that's uh, a fair, a fair dollar amount for me to spend to, um, you know, for for the value I'm getting. Yes, because even in even in regular times, the mm-hmm. price you had to pay for tickets, I still think is astronomical and outside of reasonable price. And usually you would pay yeah. less per day because you'd go for longer. Sure. And you could get multi day whatever, and you'd have park hopping you could do. Yeah. Uh, to so. But even so, even at those prices, 125 bucks a person a day, that's full, that is absolute 100% full price, right? So Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. There's no <laughs> even that in non-COVID times, I'm not sure is correct like that, right? That's Yeah, they did not that's the one thing they didn't change in the whole <laughs> in the whole thing. That <laughs> right. that variable stayed the same. Yeah. Uh, which which I mean, I guess I understand from a business standpoint, but on the other, I mean, I guess people are going so they don't need to, including you. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it seems it, like there should be like a COVID discount where, you know, they're right. down to $85 a day or something. Well, as, as they <laughs> increase attendance and make the lines longer so that you ha- you know, you're not able to do even as much right, as right. you would have if they kept, then yeah, the price should go down yeah. because you're letting more people in. And I know it's, you know, obviously they're not going to do that, but, um, from my standpoint, you're making me wait longer. I can do less now because yeah, right. you're letting more people in. I'm, sp- I'm spending money to stand here and yeah, and, and yeah. Do this. yeah, in the sun, like not even in a comfortable, <laughs> right. you know. Yeah. Because I mean, you laugh, but I mean that's the thing that was getting to us was we just simply we didn't ride Pirates of the Caribbean because the line we were willing to wait an hour, but it was an hour yeah. literally in the 106 degree blazing sun, and yeah. I'm like, and I was sunburned. We were it was just miserable. Oh, sunburn. Rookie mistake. No, I know. So um, one thing I didn't ask, did you, ha- um, and you didn't bring it up, so I'm guessing it was an issue. Mm-hmm. Did you feel safe from pandemic issues while you were there? Do you feel like oh, yeah. you did good enough with distancing and cleanliness and uh, 100%. sanitizing and all that stuff? Yeah, as, as safe as anything, any place on the planet can be, um, that's the one thing I never really concerned myself with. <laughs> um, they do a really good job uh, in the queue lines of, of having the markings, but they also have, they, they do have a bunch of cast members everywhere. And so, and so they're enforcing, making, walking through, making sure everybody is, uh, space like they should. Um, there's people walking around to enforce masks. Um, there are, uh, uh, hand sanitation stations all over the place. Um, before you get on rides, after you get on rides, um, yeah, the, I, I as people walk through, um, everybody gives you know uh, everybody else space that nobody's. I didn't. I didn't encounter. I'm not saying it never happens, obviously, but we didn't encounter any uh, any place where there weren't line where we were moving where people got too close to us. Um, so yeah, uh, that that was the one thing that. Uh, I really wasn't concerned about because they they are absolutely taking um, a ton of precautions. Um, yeah, yeah, I think the only, the only place I'd I'd worry and I haven't been there, so I haven't, but just psychologically, because I know how I feel when I just you know, have to go to the grocery store or whatever. I think it'd be fine in the park and roaming mm-hmm. around. I think it might get to me when I go inside buildings and then sitting in in a uh, attraction vehicle. Uh, remember we had Casey on the show, yeah, uh, Casey yeah. was on the show a while back, and we talked before it actually reopened. And we talked about would it be a little worrisome to like, hmm, somebody else just sat here, maybe with their COVID sweatiness, and uh, you know, did did that 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 never seem like a concern for you? No, okay. it it didn't. It didn't. Um, uh, no, it didn't. Okay. I'm trying to <laughs> think enough. why, because it should have, it should have raised red flags for me, but, um, it didn't. Chris, we, I spent so much money. I just couldn't bring I think myself that's, to think about it. <laughs> that's it too. Uh, they do clean the vehicles uh, we, c- because we, we personally witnessed the cleaning of Big Thunder Mountain. Uh, okay. we were, we were literally the next group to go on mm-hmm. and they stopped us and said, okay, uh, it's time for us to clean the vehicles. And so there's six trains 
uh, three on each side. And mm-hmm. so they each they brought in each one of the three on the side we were on, uh, sprayed it completely down, sent it out empty uh, to let it dry, air dry, <laughs> uh, and did it three times. Um, and then when the first one came back, um, it was dry and we could sit in it. And mm, okay. uh, But that's the only one we saw them actually do that. But I know they do it periodically. I don't know what that schedule is. I think I heard once an hour they do it. Um, mm-hmm. But you're right. If the person in front of you had it and was touching everything, then it doesn't matter if they <laughs> cleaned it yeah, right. just now or not because, you know, it's it's right there. So, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I was just putting it out of my mind and wasn't really thinking about it or um or what, but um I didn't uh when we got off of the of every attraction, we we found the hand sanitizer and, and mm-hmm. did that. Um uh so yeah, okay. I don't right. I don't know. Well, that's good. I mean, then obviously they're doing that they're doing that right. Yeah. That's good. Um okay, so anything else specifically about Magic Kingdom or can I ask you a, a general question? Uh, yeah, no, uh, that's pretty much it for nighttime. Okay, and obviously it, it closed before nighttime, so there were no fireworks or nighttime activities. No, no fireworks. Of, yeah. uh, no nighttime activities. I got mm-hmm. a few uh, sunsetish pictures, so mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So between the two parks for the two days, mm-hmm. which do you feel you got, given all the things considered, which do you feel like you got your most money's worth out of? I'm going to say Magic Kingdom just because they have more attractions and we did more there. Oh, really? Okay. Um, I That's uh, not all what I thought yeah. you were going to say, but okay. Very cool. Yeah. Um, Hollywood Studios still, even though it has two the two newest rides, um, there's still not a lot of rides there. There's still yeah, or attractions true. there. True. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, they're just... See to me, like six I'm, I'm, I'm happy to just go into Galaxy's Edge and just hang out there the whole day. So, and we were there. <laughs> we were in Galaxy's already. Edge from yeah. uh, eleven until until we got off Rise of the Resistance about you know two thirty three o'clock. So we were in Galaxy's Edge for a few hours, um, and then we went back to ride it again. So um, uh-huh. overall, we were probably there a good three or four hours, and just in Galaxy's Edge. Okay, about as long as this podcast. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cool. Any other notes? And and just a side mention, you were uh, nice enough to spend some time to stop by my my homestead on your way back home. So it was nice yeah, to see you, you guys. Well, it was uh, nice of you to invite us over. So. Well, we made you stay outside though to keep your germiness. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <away> that's from... <laughs> right. <laughs> but no, it, it was. It's always great uh, yeah. seeing you and and the family. And uh, it, it was no, obviously that was a highlight and. Uh, we weren't going to leave Orlando without seeing y'all. So. Oh, so nice, so nice. Well, hopefully next time we get to actually go do some part time. So, we we did we did plan on going to Disney Springs too one night since oh, right. since you the parks were closing yeah, earlier. Yeah. We figured, oh, we'll just hop over to Disney Springs. Yeah, Chris, we were so wiped yeah. <laughs> after the two days. Like the first day, there was no way because we had been up so early and and run ourselves so ragged that day. Um, and the, the one thing I didn't mention in all of this is my son, he didn't feel too good on Friday oh. at high, it, actually he didn't start feeling better until we were in line for rise of the resistance. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it was air inside and air conditioned cause I think oh, he just had heat, heat exhaustion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and he was just, he was whooped and then we got in there and we were in the air condition for, you know, a good bit. And he, he perked up. And so, yeah, that's good. um, and he was okay after that, but, uh, he wasn't, he was not feeling good Friday. So that we, we took it kind of slow, um, that day. Um, he, he felt much better on, uh, on Saturday at the Magic Kingdom. And I think that's why we had a better day at the yeah. Magic Kingdom too, because he was more willing to do stuff and, uh, he was, he was moving at a more normal speed. So, yeah. Okay. And I'm sure it doesn't feel that way when you're in line, but it generally is a bit more, a bit shadier park. From shady, shady sounds wrong. There's more shade yeah. at that park, I think. <laughs> right? Because it's, uh, you know, it's it's grown in, right? As yeah, Walt said, yeah, until they cut it all down. But yeah, well, exactly. But uh, <laughs> okay. So, um, so yeah. now I'm sorry, Jim. No, I, I thought I was going to say something else, but um, 
Top, top uh, monorail. Uh, is, we took the monorail in. Oh, I was going to ask out. you that. Yeah, so you, you parked there. You gave him another 25 bucks for the <laughs> privilege of yeah. letting your, your car bake in the sun. Yep, and no then, trams there either, so you yeah, got to walk. Say, so you walked uh, to the TTC, which is not a short yep. walk. Not like uh, It's definitely longer than studios. Uh, most people don't care. I care for reasons. Yeah. Um, actually, is that still all, all under construction, the TTC? Or is that did they finish mm, all that? I think they finished it because yeah, I okay. didn't but see then, any but there's no trams to use construction. It, so. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, and so, um, so monorail and ferry are both running to the park, right? Yep. And you took you took the uh, monorail, the, uh, the monorail there, and uh-huh. then ferry back. And okay. so the monorail, um, they you know even the ramp up, there are spots, and they tell you, okay, you know, stand on these spots, and then uh, that you tell them how many people in your party. They tell you they have numbers at each gate. Okay, mm-hmm. gate three, go there. Um, and so they fill in basically just one family per uh, door. Okay. Um, and then they, for us at least, they did that. And then, and then they, I think they brought in and saw where, uh, people were sitting. And if there was an empty, uh, bench across from them, like if your family was six people, right. And you were t- sitting on both benches, mm-hmm. then that's it. Like nobody else, but right. our family, we had four, we were all on one bench. Um, and I so see. the other was free. And so they l- allowed another family of three to come in and sit there. That seems like awfully close quarters for me. But, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it was okay. It was all right. All right. Yeah. And then um, ferry boat. <laughs> I, this is one thing they need to keep forever is <laughs> for the ferry boat. They have uh, they have numbers on the ground on dots all the way from the ferry boat where docks all the way back to you know the, the Magic Kingdom main entrance. And there's cast members there and they're making sure everybody stands on one uh, dot. And as as the ferry boat com- comes in, um, everybody moves to the next available dot. Oh, wow. So it's nice. not this mass rush. Yeah. And if you're on a dot past a line, you're going to get on the next ferry boat. Like, there's right. no question. They've already counted it out. And so, yeah, it's, yeah so it was, it was kind of a relief. But yeah. then once you get on the ferry boat, there's dots there. too. There's that exact number of dots on the ferry boat. Wow, so you have like an assigned position on the boat? <laughs> kind of, yeah, yeah. Wow. You, so um, so that was, I like that. It was yeah. like, oh, okay. That's neat. That's um, interesting. I wonder how many of these things will stay in some form. No, obviously not like they are, but. <laughs> I, I, I would like to see a lot of them stay, yeah. but. You know, Unfortunately, the, you the, and the I no want. The no fast pass I love, but yeah. I'm the oddball. Um, no, you're not. <laughs> not, not you know, not, to, not. to get in a line and say, okay, it's 45 minutes. Well, okay, it's 45 minutes for everybody. And yeah, the person right. in front of you is the guy that's going to get on it right before you. Like, there's yeah. nobody's going to be cutting or getting, you know, fast passing in. Yeah. It's like, okay, that's the line. It moves at that speed. That's okay. I, yeah. I want to ride it. That's it. No com- no argument from me, man. And, you know, I, I, I can't tell if it truly was better or it's just, you know, I'm an old guy that, you know, just remembers it that way. But it seemed like it was such a better system. Yes, there were some attractions you would wait in line a long time for. But then other ones you always knew would be a walk-on. And so you can kind of mix right. it up. I hate with fast passes of having to have them and bounce from one end of the park to the other because that's where oh, yeah. fast passes are. And so I hate that so much. Right. I miss the days where we could kind of build a... A, a ride plan and you just kind of go through and you go long ride, short ride, long ride, short ride, and kind of balance it out. Yeah. And uh, man, I wish we'd get back to that. It, yep. It's not going to happen, but, um, hmm, okay. Well, cool. Well, so how far out on the horizon would you think your next trip to Disney World would be? When do I get to see <sighs> again? Other than, you know, race weekends. Yeah. Um, you know, you mentioned it last year. Uh Oh, when we did our one, our one day trip and you were like, I think you're, I think this was a test run for you. <laughs> I think you're thinking about annual passes and you'll make a bunch of short trips. Uh-huh. And I, I poo pooed that, but because of the price of the annual pass that I have to pay, yes, the five grand is a lot of money. Yeah. Um, and I know, you know, the renewal, you get a certain percentage off of that, but it's still... But that five grand could cover two weeks in a year, right? Or, I mean, it could cover yeah, as so many, Yeah, so the it, magic... It, realistically. Right. Right. So it's 10 days. You had to go at least 10 days to the park right. to make it, to break even, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and that includes parking and all that, taking all that into consideration. So right. it's 10 days. Um, right. 
So the only way we could make it work is to where if Mardi Gras is <laughs> oh is later one year and then if it's earlier the next year. Okay. So if it's, let's say, the second week in March this year, if it's February, you know, the last week in February the next year, then we could – that's two weeks. And then we would fit in a third trip – like during the summer, at least. And so we not... we'd want to make three trips at least when okay. if when we get annual passes, right? And it's aside from Mardi Gras, there's not like a, you know, where you do four or five long weekends, like break it up that way, or is that not? Yeah, I mean, I know we there's can... the drive and stuff there, and that drive, yeah. that drive, as I'm sure you know, you've you've done it. That drive is both short enough to be reasonable, but long enough to be <laughs> a huge pain in the ass. I'm sure, right? Yeah, the kids get really antsy. Yeah. Um, it, for me, driving, it's because I'm doing something, right, yeah, the whole well, time. Yeah. So it's not, you know, it's just, it is what it is. And I don't really recognize the time. It, the time's not hitting me the same as is the kids because they're yeah, just yeah, sitting but in the come back on. waiting. What would they, but seriously, I'm going to be old man again for a second. Mm-hmm. Seriously. If they were home, wouldn't they just be sitting on the couch with their iPads yeah, course, or video yeah. games and on the internet, which they're doing in the car yeah. anyway? Like, isn't it all the same thing? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> all right, then stop your complaining, kids. <laughs> That's fine. So, yeah, you're right. I mean, it, it, it isn't uh, – we can certainly do it in a day, um, right. but it, it is a full day. Um, uh, so, yeah, we could break it up. And do like half and half. Uh, and we've done that before, too. So – uh, but yeah, it's just looking at the year ahead and scheduling and seeing, you know, when we want to do it. Um, I do like the idea of these quick trips yeah. uh, because it's it's just nice to break it up. And, sure. and yeah, you might not have a full week, but if you can go for a couple of days just to just to go for yep. the heck of it, why not? You yep. know. Yep. Yeah, I think overall so, it does it does your does your soul better over the year anyway. So you're not just like, yeah. okay, we're waiting up for that one week a year, two weeks if right. you're lucky to do a trip. You get kind of more consistent. And you could take advantage of different things happening at different times of the year, right? So the different once once we get back to normal times. Yeah, and that's yeah. the thing. We didn't get to go to Epcot this time, right? I yeah. mean, that breaks my heart because I love Epcot. Uh, but in, in the current <laughs> the current state it's in yeah, it's where park. half of it's torn up. I, there's no way on earth I'm going to pay 500 bucks to get in there. Right. Right. To, right now it's you know. the park, the park formerly known as Epcot. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. but they also have the food and wine festival yeah. and the, the art festival yeah. and yeah. the flower and garden festival. So it's the festival park. And so you get different things at different times of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's fun. And you know, and animal kingdoms there too. So, <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> so animal, animal kingdom is a is a park it, it in exists. Our set. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so okay. but yeah i i don't hate that idea um so i think we need to sit down and, and really look at the calendars and see what's coming up and uh where holidays fall and, and everything else but you know honestly uh i'd kind of like to wait until uh tron coasters open oh yeah right um gardens of galaxies open ratatouille's i mean you know ratatouille's gonna open soon but um there's a few big things that are still being built that i'd kind of like to that that should or were scheduled to open up in 2021 Mm -hmm. um so i always said that our next big trip would be 2022 um because i'm sure they'll open closer to the uh uh you know october 1st um 2021 for the 50th mm-hmm. so that's why i was thinking 2022 all right sounds like forever from now but i, right. I know it does but we're <laughs> almost uh we're almost at election day for 2020 and yeah. and then soon after that will be uh holidays and then new years and we're mm-hmm. in 2021 already yeah okay and it's gonna be obviously it's gonna be much better than this year so Oh, what could go wrong? <laughs> Stop it. Don't. What could don't possibly even. go wrong? <laughs> All right. On that note. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks for walking us through it. I'm glad you got yeah. to make the trip, even if it was, uh, if you set fire to a pile of money. But, uh, you know, 20 years from now, you'll think more about the memory than the money. So That's or, true. Or not. We'll see. We'll see where we're at 20 years from now. <laughs> Real quick. The thing that bugged me the most. Oh, yeah. You can't take uh, your face mask off for pictures, which is bull mm. dinky. Well, um, I mean, they should allow you to take them off for to take pictures. 
okay. whether photo pass or not. Hmm. But then everybody would just be like, oh, I'm taking a picture. Just, that, that would, but uh, you're selfies. stationary. Eh, okay. Why, why is it different than just standing there taking a drink of water? Same thing. Well, be, well I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. None of this makes sense. None, none of the world makes sense. So anyway, so I don't have a lot of pictures of my family because I'm like, yeah. well, they well why would you? Yeah. Like, right. you know, I didn't get photo pass. Really. So it's yeah. like, well, no. So anyway, so that's the one thing that uh, bugs me is that you can't do that. Fair enough. All right. But you, you will remember until your senility kicks in. So that's right. That's All right. right. Well, good. Well, it was nice seeing you. I'm glad you had a good trip yeah. and uh, go work tomorrow so you can make that money back. Yeah. No kidding. <laughs> All right. See you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Starport 75. Follow Chris on Twitter and Instagram at CB Gray and Glenn on Twitter and Instagram at Dizwiz. Follow the show on Twitter and Facebook at Starport 75 and Instagram at the Starport 75. For all things related to the show, including show notes and links to connect with us, visit us at starport75.com.